Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lollavita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service, first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport, and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809. everyone and welcome to the show. This week we're coming to you from the beautiful Hilton Hotel in London. We're here celebrating 20 years of the Kerry Association Dinner Dance. It's going to be a fantastic night. We'll be speaking to some of the key people that's kept the association going down the years. We'll have some great music from Barry Owen and his band. And Joe McKeown, the world champion Irish dancer, will be performing for us. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's our first night in this venue here, and it's the biggest sit-down meal this hotel has had. Uh, we have 510 here tonight, and I think 450 was the biggest before this. And you agree, ladies and gentlemen, 40,000 pounds tonight. The auction, I was absolutely amazed. I mean, that poor lady, she was brutally killed uh, three weeks ago tomorrow night. And we said we have the auction, but we had no idea that we would raise 40 grand. 40 grand in less than half an hour. It was phenomenal, you know. But Irish people, I think, when something like that happens, they are quite generous. Her granddad, Patsy Hurley, he was a former president of the Kerry Association. He actually worked for us at Team Force uh, for a while, and uh, a lovely man. And this is his granddaughter, and just what can happen and just out of the blue. But I was so delighted tonight that at least we can do some, something to help them, you know. Tonight, now again, whatever we raise tonight, we will divide it out among all the different charities because there are so many. St. Vincent de Paul, St. Luke's Hospice, you name it. And especially at the moment with the, uh, the COVID crisis, I think it's North London, 70 families are worried that they will have not enough to eat for Christmas. It's nice to be able to 
do something like that, you know. And every bit of money that we, that we make goes to charity, full stop. Well, it's great to be in London and especially at the, the Kerry Association dinner dance after such a few very trying years for everybody here in London. Great to see the Irish community coming together and the Kerry community coming together to celebrate all that's great about the community, the GA club, the people who are helping out uh, with those who are most in need. And I was in Cricklewood uh, up at the Irish Centre there. I was calling numbers for the bingo. Uh, but talking to many of our senior citizens who have been here for many years, they were telling me they were dancing in the Galtee Moor many moons ago, uh, and they have fond memories of that, but it's great that the Irish community helped them out, and uh, now that they need that help, and so many put the shoulder to the wheel to help all our senior citizens over here as well. It's been an unbelievable evening, 500 people, 500 seats, the committee do unbelievable work for people around the local area and the Kerry community in particular and listen, filling up the Hilton and Wembley is a, is a real honour really so it's a great night. It was a fantastic night and it, I suppose if you think of the causes we hear tonight, like there was, a, there was an auction there for Nicole Hurley's family and her grandfather Patsy was a huge part of the Kerry community and the Irish community here in London. And tonight here, the generosity of the people uh, raised £40,000. £40,000, Lord God Almighty, is a huge amount of money. So you could feel the love in the room for Nicole's family tonight. We had a wonderful night. We managed to raise loads of money. We're really delighted with ourselves and everyone seemed to have a great night. We're delighted. We have a fantastic committee. I'm a very small part of a great team. It's a fantastic team here. Sheila, here's the treasurer. There's a wonderful team. And we're, do you know what? It's great fun. Great group of people. We're great friends, all of us. And of course, we've, we've so many people have spoken to us tonight about the wonderful generosity of the people at the auction. Oh, we're, we're just so humbled by it, to be honest. We've managed to raise over £54,000. We're just flabbergasted. We're delighted. And it was lovely to see Father Hearn here tonight. Oh, Father John is a great friend of ours and a, a great supporter, absolutely, yeah. How many times have we said it, like the Irish rally to the cause every time, whether it's Manchester, Birmingham or London, yeah? But uh, you, you've seen, uh, like, Joy Rochford and, and Dan Tim, uh, they've been successful in their lives, but they've spread it around, you know, they're, they're picked up the cordula any time there was a need to do it. And the, they wouldn't do it without the people. That was very evident in that tonight as well, like, you know, the way that, um, you know, you, you, the people that were mentioned, the people in the background, and the people that came to support and so generous with their offers tonight and in the auction and in the raffle, you know. Everybody's talking here tonight about your freedom at the City of London on that day because a lot of people get it, but nobody had the crowd that you had that day. I had wonderful fathers here. They came from American, from both sides of the Irish Sea, all over the country. I got mighty support to the world. It's been ah. wonderful. And PJ Murray has a new song about me. Wonderful thing. So we have a, we have a video of the whole. So it'll, be, it'll be a great look back in years to come. Oh, it was very special for us. And we had a fantastic time, and my family are very proud of everything, you know, and they're all so, so wonderful to me. They're all, they treat me very well, and they're a wonderful family, and they continue with the business now, and it's going from cent to cent. It was great to clap and cheer and everything in there. Quite a few GEA people in there tonight. Plenty of Kerry footballers over for the, for the weekend on the, on the tear, really, and a couple of them have championship as well next week, so they're minding themselves, but the likes of Brian Sheen from St Mary's, Tommy Walsh, David Moore and Killian Young, Paul Galvin, all the, all the very successful Kerry footballers. So yeah, it's great to have them. It's always a great night to be a Kerryman. I mean, it's good to be a Kerryman in the morning, noon and night. I mean, any time is great to be a Kerryman. Now, you're president of the uh, Provincial Council of Britain. It's your first year. It's been a tough one, hasn't it? I took over last February. A lot of things that should have been done previous, which had to be done immediately, but we're getting through it and um, 
I'm very happy with the progress we're making with the best uh, nine months anyway. Anyway. I know one of the things that you are very passionate about during your reign is, uh, of course, you'd like Sports England to recognise the GEA a little bit more. Yeah. All the clubs in the whole area of Great Britain, including Scotland and Wales and England, they are compliant with Sport England. They can approach Sport England for funding. But obviously a club in any part of Great Britain are not in a position to get proper funding for grounds or anything like that. So we are, want the, the counties, the seven counties of Britain, who are, who are part of the, uh, who are affiliated to Provincial Council of Britain to act for funding for, for uh, ground, county grounds and likes of that. And that's where the capital funding will come to the county boards in the different, in the different counties of Britain. How has the season gone for yourself? I know you play with Thomas McCartan here in London. Well, Thomas McCartan celebrated a great year last year. It was their 100th anniversary. We were due to go to Cork for a weekend. That's now going, going to happen next year, Martin. So we had a good all year, really. We maintained our senior status. Um, nearly made a semi-final of the senior championship in London, which would have been good going. We also made a semi-final of the reserve championship. So yeah, listen, fantastic club. Both, both codes, hurling and football and camogie as well and ladies football, so a fantastic club. Of course you played a lot of football up in Manchester with St Peter's GEA Club and sang Manny's the Song in the Fiddler's Green Pub in Levenzo. I, 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 I'd, I'd use the word football loosely, Martin, more butchering really more than anything else, but uh, listen, St Peter's were amazing, we won two All-Britons, we had a great couple of years and the likes of the Fiddlers and all the other pubs in Manchester were very good to me, so yeah, we played a few tunes when we could at our best uh, at times, you know. Are you still singing and performing down here in London? Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of music down in London. Uh, loads of gigs. Um, there's plenty of bars and plenty of Irish people and plenty of demand, more importantly. And now that things have opened up a small bit, people are mad for a bit of Kyol. So, uh, so yeah, we, we do our best, you know. Great to see the frontline workers or the key workers, as they say here in the UK here tonight being honoured by the Kerry Association for their great work and the many Irish people and Kerry people who work in the, H the HSE and the health service, the NHS here as they call it, um, that they've contributed so much to, to the United Kingdom and their battle and, and the world's battle against COVID-19. I would like table two and three to stand up please and these are our key workers Back at home, I think they're called frontline workers, but here you're calling them the key workers. They're teachers, they're nurses, they're policemen and women. They're the people who will be working extremely hard, making sure the rest of us are safe. Everyone's having a great time here at the Hilton Hotel in London, celebrating 20 years of the Kerry Dinner Dance. We'll see you in a few minutes. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Mulligan's Funeral and Monumental Services are a family-owned funeral service first established by the late Brian Mulligan in 1996. We provide funeral homes in Gorton, Manchester and Reddish, Stockport and we pride ourselves on giving a friendly and professional service to all the families who use our service. Contact us on 0161 432 0809.
Welcome back. Well, we are having a great time here with the Kerry Association in London. And now I've been joined by the two sisters, that's Theresa and Sheila McCarthy, two recipients of the Kerry Person of the Year. Theresa, a great night for you. Many congratulations. Thank you. Yes, it's been a really wonderful night. And of course, you've been heavily involved in lots of things here in London, but I know that you played football with Kerry uh, Gales as well, Kerry Kingdom Gales. I did. I, I lived in London actually 15 years ago, and for five years I played football for Kingdom Kerry Gales, and it was a really, really good time, really good uh, group of girls, and yeah, I totally enjoyed it. First of all, I'm extremely honoured to be receiving London Kerry Person of the Year Award with my sister Sheila. So many incredible people have won this award before us, and it'll be our privilege to be in their company. I've lived in Northampton for 15 years. I run an Irish pub there called Swan and Helmet with my husband. And during COVID-19, um, uh, the unfortunate circumstances, we opened initially as a food bank. And luckily we registered as a charity and formed the McCarthy Dixon Foundation, which has now turned into a really huge uh, charity and uh, has helped over 50,000 people. So we're really, really lucky. I've lived at Tone now for seven years, but I often have fond memories of the Kerry Association, the wonderful people that I met and worked with, but I have to especially thank Margaret and Noel and Belinda and Paddy and everyone that organised tonight because I used to do it. We used to have the Galaxy Moor, big crowds of 500 people. It is not easy to organise something like this and I'm really grateful and appreciate your work very much. Many congratulations to you. It's a great recognition uh, for yourselves from all the people here tonight. Yeah, no, it's fabulous. It's a huge honour. When you see who's got it before you, it's a huge honour and a great night. This is a wonderful night here, wonderful night for the two McCarthy sisters. I know them very well. Their, mo their mother is a cousin of my wife's, actually, importantly, year, and two great girls that had done the lot. And it's great to see, see them here tonight getting this wonderful honour. Yeah, and of course, you're a former uh, Kerry Person of the Year yourself. I am. I got the Kerry Person of the Year here back in 2010. Three was it, I was the first person to get it, and I got it in Dublin in back in 2015. So I got it in Ireland and England. So I'm, I have my job done. <laughs> At the moment, our food bank serves over 52 Northamptonshire schools, Northamptonshire community mental health team, victims of domestic violence, Northamptonshire Children's Trust. But our, our food bank and our charity does many other services with the community. We focus on people's well-being, uh, try to help people just to enable themselves to be self-sufficient and just look after the whole community. Well, the Kerry Association did exist in the 70s and early 80s. Um, but then, uh, in, in the early 90s, it just it wasn't there anymore. So we started um, with the huge influx of Kerry people to London. We felt, you know, it was a strong county and we needed one. So yes, myself and a few others set up the, as it is today, the Kerry Association. We saw great Irish dancing there from Joe McCoon, world champion. World champion, what a privilege and what a beautiful young man to have him as a part of our evening. Generously donated all of his time for us this evening as a gift to our association. Thank you, Barry. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you keeping? Now, come on, what's wrong with you? How are you doing? I got that thought, have that the meal right there for a second. I came over today, I landed at around 2 o'clock and unfortunately I have to go home again tomorrow. And at the last time I was here, I'll never forget it, the bomber Liston who, who played for Kerry, who was seven all Ireland medals, was sitting next to him. And he said to me, he said, Doh, he said, I was talking to Ogie Morden, we've discussed it, and we want you to go drinking with us in London tomorrow. And I said, bomber, I'd love to go drinking with two of my heroes, but I have to go home to my wife and child. And the bomber said, they'll be there when you get home on Monday. <laughs> and I said, Bomber, I have to go home. And I have very few regrets in my entire life, would you believe it?
But I often speak of that one and it'll go down as one of my regrets that I didn't go for a good few points with two of my heroes, the bomber Liston and Ogie Morgan. Dohi is amazing. He's a, a neighbour of my family back from around Maria Kandingle and uh, yeah, great. And shame we didn't all have a bit more of his Irish speaking this evening, but fabulous, yeah. Now, Sheila, of course, it's a great night for everybody here and, uh, of course, Barry Owen is providing the music. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a very important part of the evening, especially after everything we've been through the last two years. Everyone's very keen to go dancing again and enjoy a bit of a swing around the dance floor with their partners. So, yeah, very much so. You seem to get all the good jobs. You know, you've got the Rosa Trolley. What a job that is. The Rosa Trolley is one of the finest jobs you'll ever get. Yeah. And uh, do you know what, it's a job that's, uh, it's, e it's an easy job because you go out there and I go out and, on stage to enjoy myself. And do you know, I think we've really missed it in the last two years. I was down in Tralee last summer and the summer before and speaking to the local people, they really, really missed it. And when you come here to London, you get the Irish community here coming together and what it means to the London Irish people here and then bringing people home during the summer. So hopefully we're all back on board again next year uh, in August. Back to normality. I know you were also involved in the Rosa Tralee here in London. Yes, I still am. That's the one thing I still do. I'm secretary of the London Rose Centre and uh, we've had very strong girls going to Tralee and we won it twice in 2009-2010 and I think we came pretty close a few other years as well. You're the youngest Kerry person representing the Senate, aren't you? Well, I'm that, but I'm also the chair of the Senate, and I'm the first Kerry person to be the chair of the Senate. And next year is the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the Senate, so I'm delighted to be the chair for that historic occasion. And I was in here tonight, and obviously we were uh, having a raffle prize, so I give a, a prize of a, a dinner for 10. Uh, in Leinster House in the members dining room and a tour of the Dáil and the Senate uh, and of course I said to everybody who was here that I'd buy them a drink in the Dáil bar. I hope they don't all show up on the same day though. Father you spent a lot of your life up in Manchester and you've got lots and lots of friends up there. Oh definitely, uh, well, 37 years Martin was my stay in Manchester yeah, from St Anne's through St Lawrence's through Gorton to Levensium, yeah. And they were great years. The people that I've met, I like I missed. People ask me like, what, what, you know, retirement. I wouldn't, I wouldn't regret the decision, but you, you do miss the people that you, you know, you're part of their life. They're part of your life. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, I missed that. I missed that a big time when I went home. But bit by bit, then you pick up again. It, you know, there's plenty to do. You don't retire and, and roll up in a bar like yeah. You're a very busy person as well. You're presenting the uh, Today Show on RT. That's that's we every day, of course, and that's a big commitment. It's a huge commitment. Say last year we um, we had 170 shows of two and a quarter hours. And if you go back to March 2020, we were unsure what was going to happen. Everybody was unsure what was going to happen because Fair City finished, the Saturday Night Show finished, Winning Streak finished. These are big, huge shows, and all the independent productions finished. So all that was left really was the Late Late Show news and current affairs and ourselves and we became I suppose that connection with people at home people weren't allowed to travel anywhere as well and people tuned into us so we made the shows lighter because we realized that there's a lot of serious stuff coming on the news after and in and the outside world so we said okay we have to do something here we have to kind of bring a bit of fun into people's lives. Vince have you enjoyed tonight? Martin it's been an amazing night here in uh, Wembley at the Hilton for the Kerry Association London Charity Do and thanks for coming and filming it for us. It was an absolute pleasure and I know you're joined here with a lot of your friends tell me about them. Uh, amazing friends and family uh, one in particular here a, a Kerryman and I've brought him to one of his first uh, Kerry dinners with his family and I'll pass over to Pat Murphy. Yeah, we came from um, water about 39 years ago and we've opened up a restaurant in Kent. It's Primadonna's in West Wickham and I've got a partner, Marino, and 
we're very happy and we're still going after all the hard times. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been a lovely night. <laughs> Is this your first time here at the Kerry Association? It has been. Definitely the first night that I've been here, at least. Yeah. <laughs> but you've been here before, Kerry Ann? Yeah, I have. Yes. <laughs> lovely night. Lovely night. But I'm not from Kerry, I'm from Mama. <laughs> <laughs> And Ryan, I believe you're a good friend of Danny O'Sullivan's. I know Dan well and the family. We've, uh, we've had many good times with them and we're at the Kerry Association today to enjoy the night together. It's my birthday today as well, so... <laughs> hey! Hey! The first time we come to the Kerry Association dinner was two years ago and my cousin was Kerry Man of the Year, Michael Mythen. But the rest of my family hail from Wexford, the Yellow Bellies. Well, there's nothing wrong with Wexford. That's right, that's right. Come a clue. What a great night we've had here with the Kerry Association in London. And I have to say congratulations to everybody involved in the auction, raising over £54,000 for that family. Well, you know, we've enjoyed it here. We hope you've enjoyed it at home. Until next week, I'm going to say goodbye from myself, from Margaret, and from Sheila. Bye. Good night.